Hello everybody, this is Peacekill 100 and welcome back to some more Miles Ed Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations Tournament Reminiscence. In the previous episode, we uh, were summoned... No, we had investigated Defendant Lobby Number 1 and then were summoned to, get the, to go to the evidence transfer process. In this episode, that's exactly what we're going to do. Then in the sounds from the mic. I'm just trying to readjust it so I don't... It doesn't interfere with anything. Um, there we go. Um, so if you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And share with your friends so they can join in on this investigation. I do apologize about no um, Twilight Princess being up yesterday. This has been another really... Um, uh, uh, difficult weekend, uh, Saturday, I was away all day, and that's why the Halloween stuff was out late, too, um, I kind of wanted to just get this out of the way while it's all in mind, so, uh, you know, if you don't want to hear the stuff, you can, you can skip ahead to when they actually start the trial, um, I also figured out the reason why my, my camera is lagging so much is because, um, I had realized that when I was recording the park, the camera wasn't lagging as much, um, but here it lags a lot. I think it has to do with how mu what the quality of the game is. Like if the game is lagging because of the recording device, so will the the um, the camera. Uh, but if the um, if the game isn't lagging as much, it won't affect the camera as much. Um, now I don't know if that's 100% true because I. You know, as you know, the park was an hour and forty-five minutes long, and I didn't see the, watch the camera all the way through. Um, also, go watch the park. It's a psychological horror game that I had found out, and I don't know if it's still on Steam. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, it's around ten bucks. So if you want to go try it out for yourself, I highly recommend it. And I also, so I had a, almost had a little mini heart attack setting up this thing because. Uh, the last recording test that I had was on October 27th, okay? Not bad. Um, there was one from September 27th, and I had no idea why it wasn't, like, it skipped back to the beginning of the case, and I had a mini miniature heart attack until I figured that, until I saw that there was a month's difference in between. Yeah, it's been over a month with this case, so let's see if we can finish this up. I'm done rambling, let's get started. Um, uh, actually, just let me grab something real quick. I swear it'll transfer. It'll be funny. You won't know what it is unless... Yeah, you know what? Enough chattering away, B-Scat. Start the... Where's the, where's the keyboard? Start the kiss! It's you, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, it appears that his honor is still a bit de dispirited. For the first time today, I experience what it's like to stand at the witness stand. Uh, I have a greater appreciation for just how hard it is to give testimony. Well, there's no reason for you to be all depressed about it, Your Honor. As a judge, no one expects you to think about anything other than the verdict. Francisco, there is no need to further depress His Honor. But I'm not trying to, Myas. Your Honor. Ugh. Your Honor, I've come to collect the evidence that was to be transferred to me. Your Honor, the evidence. I... Your Honor! Oh! Y you! Y yes, can I help you? I'd like to collect the evidence now, sir. Your Honor, do you think you can stay focused long enough for to at least do your job? Y yes, uh, I'm sorry! 
No would, except that the defense attorney has yet to arrive. She is busy with the investigation. So let's keep this brief, shall we? Very well. In that case, please confirm that all pieces of evidence are present. Furthermore, the evidence that was used in the murders of Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell are also included, so please go ahead and use them in your investigation into the case. Understood, your honor. The pieces of evidence that were used in the murder of those two men. This could be a very good chance for me to find new leads regarding their case. And maybe even some that will finally lead me to the truth. I placed all the evidence over at the prosecutor's bench. I see. Thank you very much. I will go and confirm that they are all accounted for. I'm actually curious on what's on the defense attorney bench. Evidence that Miss Yu prepared is just sitting here on this table. Do you know you can't just walk over a visit and flock off at this right? Of course I do. Miss Yu must have been caught off guard by her client's sudden accusation. I wonder how she would have defended Mr. Rell in that case if he was still alive. Uh, I guess we can't check it out. Alright. What evidence do we have? So, this is the evidence related to today's Kadobian Embassy trial from Mr. Faraday's bag. Do you mean the evidence bag that was on the table in lobby number 2, right? Yes. Finally, we can now take a look at the evidence itself and not just da data about them. Let's be sure to thoroughly examine them while we have the time. Agreed. I want to take a good look at all of it, all of the evidence from the Embassy murder too. Why is that? Because I still don't understand what today's trial was truly about. Was about. Oh shit! I know how to type. I swear. Yeah. Don't point your crop at me just because you don't know something. And don't you try to order me around just because Papa chose you today. I see someone is so sore about not being picked by Mr. Von Karma. It's also real to see the knife up close. So we have the knife, the gun, and envelope. And what's this organizer doing here? Oh, that's right! I completely forgot to tell you! But what's your honor? I found Mr. Faraday's personal organizer inside of that evidence bag of his. Detective Pad requested it be long passed along to you. He said it would help your investigation. Detective Pad said that. What a strange subject of luck. Well, never look a gift horse in the mouth. Might as well flip through it too. Interest to okay. Alright. I'm curious on what's in the envelope at first. And look, I took a quick look through the, these documents before the trial started. Well, even... I wasn't even afforded the opportunity to skim it. Hmm. Suppose I should explain it to you then. Yes, you should. Perfectly in its entirety, if you please. On the night of September 8th, an embassy staff member was killed in front of the embassy. The staff member died due, uh, due to... Yeah. The staff member died of shock due to being shot in the heart. Mac Rell was brought in that night as a suspect and thoroughly questioned, because the murder weapon was found on him for which he was arrested on the spot. A simpleton of a man, that's what he was. Hmm, perhaps he was. For the weapon w wasn't the only incriminating evidence we had. Mr. Rell was caught in the act by f film on a security camera. He was an even bigger such a simpleton. Then I thought. I can't believe he didn't notice that there was a security camera. The Kadobian Embassy security system is, what is supposedly very well designed, and I have simply not been aware that there was a camera in the area. So, have you been, have you seen the contents of the video for yourself? 
Yes, the surveillance video of the security camera took was played during the trial by Mr. Faraday. You can clearly identify Mr. Rail on it. Even the sound of the gunshot was crystal clear. So the footage included sound, huh? I don't think I've ever wanted to see the moments of someone's death in real life. Me neither. Alright. Um, let's take a look at the gun. This gun. It was originally used to kill the Kidopian Embassy staff member. When the crime was reported, the responding police found Mr. Rell still holding it, which he led to his immediate arrest. And then, this gun took... Uh, and then, this gun took the uh, original shooter's life. How ironic. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything else we can learn from this piece of evidence. Alright, what do we got about the, the knife? The other piece of evidence. It's the knife that was used to kill Mr. Faraday. Who would have thought that this beautiful piece of art could be used for such a cool act? It's never crossed your mind that you use your writing crop for the wrong purpose. Alright, what is in the organizer? Mr. Faraday's organizer. It appears he was in the habit of using it. It looks like he wrote his strategy for getting Mr. Rail convicted down in here. Let's see. Alright, you know what, we'll take a look at this in its entirety after the dialogue is done. It appears that Mr. Faraday honestly believed that Mr. Rail was the killer in his case. Oh shit. Alright, well... It would also appear that he had proof that Mr. Rail was not to go to Karasu. Hmm. And he apparently also had a very definitive piece of evidence. Yes, I believe that Mr. Faraday was well prepared to discredit any claim Mr. Rail might have had about being the real Yacht Karasu. And he has a way to prove that Mr. Rail was the guilty party in the embassy matter. This organizes a clue straight from Mr. Faraday. I'll have to take my time and give it a thorough read later, which we will. Look, there's a picture stuck between the pages here. It appears to be a key. And a rather ornate one at that. Just look at the design on the handle. Craftsmanship is superb. Could this be the Yacht Grassroots key Mr. Faraday mentioned in his organizer? The Yacht Grassroots key? Little too bad, says something earlier. Ah! I hope you can see it. Damn my teeth. It's different about this time. Was that the aliens were related to the smuggling ring. We sent to the police. But the center was none other than the one who infiltrated the Canopian embassy. He got a grassy. The Yota Karasu sent the evidence. To now, the Yellow Grasso. But always publicize any corrupt dealings through mass media. But not this time. The evidence this time. Except something only Faraday and I, and a select few others knew about. Worth it. Mr. Faraday must have been trying to keep this secret key safe. It's prosecuted on the both Yacht and Smuggling Ring cases, that's to be expected. Yacht Grasso's key. Hmm, that's odd. What is it? It's fair that didn't mention anything about a knife in his organizer. That certainly is odd. The weapon that was used to kill the Kadopian Embassy's staff member was using the gun. But if that's the case, then what did the knife that was used to uh, commit murder 
to murder Mr. Faraday come from? Is it obvious? It was brought into the courthouse by Mr. Rell. That's the only logical conclusion, right? Don't you think in a courthouse? No, I know! I've been- well... Courthouse or police station? Either one. They have metal detectors, so he couldn't have brought the, the knife in. No, because it's not that easy to smuggle a weapon like that in here. Every person who went to the courthouse doors checked for, thoroughly for contraband. Furthermore, the suspect was handcuffed, making it impossible for him to bring a knife as large as this inside. In that case, how do you know? How do you suppose the knife could have entered up inside the courthouse? Why are you getting mad at me? Let me think carefully here. There is nothing related to the knife written anywhere in Mr. Faraday's organizer. All right, before we do that. I want to read, because I, I, obviously I know what the answer is about how the key was brought in, but I want to read the organizer. What was it? Central 3? Shit. Or, actually, <laughs> that's the safe slot I wanted to save it to anyway, right? Back. Shift. Shift is is switching the screen. Essential is right. Mm -hmm. I have collected the evidence I need to prove that Mr. Rell was the killer. Between the handgun Rell had on him when he was arrested and the surveillance tape, I should be able to prove that he was the one. The sound of his handgun going off was recorded with superb clarity on the surveillance video. I also have evidence that I can use to prove that Rel is not the real Yadakura also. <clears throat> no matter how, it tr how he may try to play it, as long as I have the Yadakura also's key, I can prove that he's a phony. If I present it to him in court, it should clear up everything from long his battle. I hope this would finally bring it to an end. However, the fact that the, this knife came from Mr. Faraday's evidence bag. Conversely, there was one item listed in Mr. Faraday's organizer that no one has claimed to have seen today. So in order to solve this mystery, I believe I will need to take another good look at the evidence. Miles Edgeworth, can I take the fact that you have yet to answer me? Two means that you don't have an answer for me? Actually. I do know the answer, Francisca. What? Then what is it? One of the pieces of evidence that we've been holding has been hiding a secret of its own. And it was through this piece of evidence that the knife was brought into the courthouse. Is the, pic is the picture of the key here? Yeah, the autographs' key. Let's take a good look at it. You see the coloring and the design of the handle? You know what? Uh, maybe not the design, but you know what else has the coloring of a handle like that? The knife. Take that. Take that. I don't see how that answers my question at all. Every piece of evidence has some secretive aspect about it. Oh, then I demand to know what the secret is to this one. <laughs> Alright, maybe there is no secret to this one. I need to think carefully here. There is nothing related to the knife for it. At least we don't get penalized for it. I guess I don't know. Oh, I had it backwards. I'm sorry. The Yadagrasu's key. This Yadagrasu's key Mr. Faraday mentions in his organizer. This is how the knife was brought into the courthouse. I had it backwards. My bad. You're not making any sense, Miles Edgeworth. Hm. 
you just need to take a look a bit... Need to look a bit, bit closer, Francesca, to see what I mean. Does the color and the ornamentation of the key's handle remind you of something? So it do remind me of the knife. Very good. Both the author Gross's key in this photo and the murderous knife have this very unique design on their handles. Furthermore, even though Mr. Faraday mentions the Yacht Grosser's key, the only object we found at the crime scene was the knife. You don't seriously mean to say! It appears that you finally caught up. And yes, I do mean to say that what these two pieces are, in fact, one in the same. But that's impossible! I don't like the freeze framing of her in, like, in that position. Weird. Especially from the profile uh, point of view. Anyway. Even if that you, uh, that's what you believe, we should still investigate this possibility. Nah. Now then, let us examine this knife in a little bit more detail. There should be some sort of... Yup, right there. I can't believe it turned into a key. To think there was much more... Uh, such a strict to this thing. So the weapon used to kill Mr. Faraday is actually the key to the Yacht Ross was still. This piece of information is more critical than anything we've learned up until now. Frankly, I'm shocked. Mr. Faraday only mentions key as the key aspect of this piece of evidence in his organizer. It's possible that even he had no idea the key was hiding a knife blade inside. But if that's true, then only someone who knew about the key to the knife trick could have killed Mr. Faraday. Even among law enforcement, this key was top secret. We're looking for someone who knew more, even more about. The key than even Mr. Faraday. I mean, the only person it could be is the one who sent the key in the first place. The great thief Yacht Garasu. So maybe Mr. Rel was the, really the Yacht Garasu, and he was the one who killed Mr. Faraday. Isn't that one possible scenario? No, not really. Especially since Mr. Faraday was absolutely convinced that Mr. Rel was not the Yacht Garasu. Besides, as Detective Bad said earlier, but when question Mr. Real about what was sent along with this white card, really no idea what it was. I see. All right, then. I guess the person who knows the trick behind this key. Is someone else, and that person to you really got to Garasu. Hmm. It seems that this key is truly the key. It seems that this key is truly the key to solving this case. No pun intended. That's odd. A we'll short one piece of evidence. And the piece that's missing is the surveillance video that was played in court. The surveillance video? How could a piece of evidence just disappear? Where did it go? The video showing the moment in which, in which Mr. Rell appeared to contain the murder. We could have gone indeed. Are you done with your inspection of the evidence? Yes, I'm finished. However, Your Honor, I am missing a single piece of that of prosecutor, prosecutorial evidence. It's your Honor. Were you derelict in your duties? What? No! I dare not lick my duties! What are you what are you take me for? No, Your Honor. The most important piece of evidence in today's trial, the surveillance video, is not amongst the evidence you laid out for me. Mm. But it brought Mr. Faraday's whole bag with me from the crime scene. 
Maybe the tape is still somewhere at the crime scene? Hmm. There's something wrong here. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> Suspense music, alright. Something about this missing piece of evidence. It would appear to, to me that to find the answers I seek, I will have to pay another visit to the crime scene of the crime, the front lobby number two. What are you doing here? Hmm? That's Detective Bad. But who is he with? I've never seen that officer here before. So, fuck. <laughs> so, did you find it? Not so fast. No, not yet. I've looked everywhere. I see. Well then, please continue with the search. Understood. I continue the search. So you're the ones running this show. Prosecutors keep us like you shouldn't even be allowed at the crime scenes. How dare you! Just who do you think you are? <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't expect him to be in this case. What was that all about? Just who was that man now? Whoever he was, I've never seen the more impudent officer in my life. How ironic that she says that. <laughs> Either way, uh, yeah. We're gonna have to end it off here. In the next episode of Bottles at Ruthie's Turning Investigations, Turn About Reminiscence, we are going to go and, um, uh, investigate Defendant Lobby Number Two a little bit more. Uh, until then, I will see you guys later.